Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the greatest magic player of all time who actually was a cheater. This is not some FNM and those are two judges. This is Nationals, I believe. And yes, the greatest magic player to intimidate his opponent is standing on a chair. This is not a joke. This is not fake. The greatest magic player of all time, Mike Long, would often stand on the chair to intimidate his opponent. He was also caught cheating, but he never got punished for it because for a branding exercise, they needed a champion. Mike Long was the champion they needed to fight the other cheater, Mark Justice. Imagine that, right? It's kind of like when you have to hire Deadpool and you really don't want to because you know it's not going to end well, but you do it anyway and it ends poorly and it's really your fault, which is a coach for making that decision to make this your champion. I mean, think of how hilarious it is that he's standing on his chair, staring down his opponent. Like he's, these are judges in the background saying, oh, this guy's so cool. I love Mike Long. He's going to win. Now, he was caught many times, not punished, for a lot of pretty obvious stuff, like the shuffling, manipulating decks, before you had all the subpar magic cheaters like Alex Bocchini, Jared, and the list goes on and on and on, you had the master. Because he was so good at cheating, he became the best magic player. He won thousands of dollars in money, thousands of dollars in prize support, and he was promoted. Wizard of Coast promoted this guy like none other. I remember looking up to him, and I knew he cheated. Everyone cheated back in the time because your role models, you either were Mark Justice or you were Mike Long. Now, Wizard of Coast then went to delete most of these articles, which I'm going to show you, but you can use the Wayback Machine to find them. So what's going on is he's playing his ideal deck, a combo deck. A combo deck, this was before Amulet Bloom. They were already stacking decks and making it impossible for you, the opponent, to win. It was the 1997 championship match where he has the cards in lap. I've always felt that cheat was a classical cheat that would never work, but it works today, and we still see the cards in lap cheat often. And a recent pro, a very famous pro, was banned for it. So he's drawing extra cards, he's hiding cards in his lap. I mean, this is the Magic the Gathering champion. This is the apex of what people, what I wanted to become. I wanted to become the Mike Long, the best Magic player. <laughs> it's insane, right? But this is what happened. Now, cheating, of course, should be frowned upon. I'm not here to say that it was bad. He had six copies of the same card. And then even with six copies, he stacked them so he could win. Like, it's just so insane. Um, I mean, draft and limited and sealed. And as you see from the, we'll end with that image, the video, like there are judges literally everywhere. Everywhere there are judges, he continued to draw extra cards, shuffle in an odd way. And then people would write articles to call him out on it. But why would he care? He didn't have to give back the money. This sounds kind of like Alex Pacini, actually. <laughs> he didn't have to give back the Power Nine or the money. And, you know, he got to keep everything. Now, you don't get keep everything the one time that Alex got caught cheating. He just got to keep the Power Nine. I think the check was given to charity or something. But every other time he cheated, he got away with it. So the first time that you get caught cheating is not the first time you actually cheated. Probabilities are slim. So he had a deck with six copies of this card, so he definitely could have won. But he cheated anyway. Like He cheated anyway. And that's a very Mike Long situation where he already is winning on board and he continues to cheat. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. He's already got the game on lockdown. And I mean, this is why the guy was a champion, right? He, he was a champion because... Even when he was winning, he needed to win more by cheating. 
So imagine the lengths of cheating that he went to when he was losing. I remember one of the most classic stories. I think I read it on Star City Games. I don't know where else I met it, but it was Mark Justice versus Mike Long. Mark Justice was the great villain of Magic, the great epic cheater, and Mike Long was the cheater as well. I mean, it was very awkward. I don't know how this came to be, but they both were sitting at a high event. They joked, they, you know, at that point, you could make very offensive jokes and it was acceptable in the Magic community, like incredibly offensive jokes. I'm not going to say them right now, but you can imagine. And they knock uh, one of them. I think Mark Justice knocks both of their dice off the table. And Mark Justice is trying to like put his uh, life total higher. And then Mike Long picks up his dice and he puts his life total higher, like even higher. I'd say he was at like five. He like put it to like 20. <laughs> and Mark Justice is like, wait, I only gained two life. You gained 15. And that was the classic Mike Long versus Mark Justice back and forth. Who could cheat better? Magic the Gathering was an interesting time. And poor Darwin could never beat the guy. He could just never beat the guy because the guy was too good at cheating. So you had a lot of great Magic players who were probably great Magic players without cheating just not do well. It's like the baseball era with the you know, Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire. I'm sure some people didn't take uh, in performance enhancing drugs, but then they were never famous and they never got the big contract like Sammy Soso. You name all the baseball players, Roger Clemens, who did not take that? Like Lance Armstrong in cycling, who could beat him? Like it wasn't like they could take away his... Lance lives in Austin and I saw a recent or a tweet from him where he takes a photo of all his yellow uh which means a uh, shirt which meant that he was in first place and he's like come get this <laughs> and you know yeah you can't get it because he already won and he already has endorsement and he already has a foundation and he already has all this stuff and that's the same way for mark mike long wow oh, wow i said almost said mark justice and mike long mark justice uh, I mean, poor Darwin. He could never win. He could just never beat this guy because Long had purposely manipulated his deck. People all knew it. Um, they all understood that at the end of the day, you cannot beat this guy. He was invincible. And the judges, I mean, you saw, we'll see the video. There's all these judges and they're letting him stand to intimidate his opponent. And he's talking like really offensive stuff. Luckily, there's commentators, right? So people don't know how offensive he was. But he, as a tactic, would say, like, blank, blank, you, just randomly. Like, and the opponent, like, the opponent's like, what, what? What's going on? And he would randomly stand up, sit in his chair, sit down. So sometimes, so he would, it wouldn't be like he was just sitting in his chair the whole time or standing in his chair the whole time. He would stand and then sit and then stand. And he would actually stand on his chair. Like, it's almost... I'm so glad I saw this video because it's almost impossible to prove this happened. But all you need to know is to gain an edge over his opponent, he would stand like this or he would sit in his chair like this. So with this type of opponent, what is he not going to do to win? But the most, I mean, he, look, look. I mean, it's, and the judges are like, oh yeah, great. And this is when he's on camera. He's probably mouthing some bad words like I cannot make out what he's saying but I guarantee you saying something like F you you blanker and, like he would say that all the time it was legendary and it was you know people said the people who supported Mike Long they had two arguments at least he's not Mark Justice Mark Justice was far worse he's the guy like going he's a guy who when he got caught cheating he maybe it was Mike Long but he threw his deck in the trash can and then they couldn't prove that he was cheating. I mean, come on now. I mean, this, it's legendary. Like some of the stuff that went on when I was in an elementary school and middle school following these guys on Inquest Magazine and on the coverage on ESPN, actually it was on. McKadian Mask was on ESPN. And I feel so bad for the John Finkels and the Darwins where I know they know these people are cheating, but the judges don't care. Which is the I mean, look at this judge. He's like, Man, I love Mike Long. He's awesome. I want to be like everyone wanted to be like Mike Long. And 
his opponents didn't care. <laughs> they were like, oh, great, go for it, Mike. Way to draw that, you know. Wow, you top decked an amazing card. Everyone knew he was cheating. Everyone knew he was manipulating the deck. So the first one was at least he's not Mark Justice. The second one was he just wants to get an edge, and any edge is fine. St sitting in your chair is fine. Yelling curse words at your opponent at random times is fine. You know, cheating is fine. Anything to win. And he was the Magic of the Gathering, in my opinion, as a win percentage, as a... Um, he... If John Finkel played him, and he was cheating in on his game, there's no way he would let John Finkel win. Just none. You could not beat this guy. And that was what was legendary about him. He would take every single edge possible, including cheating, even when he was winning by a lot, to beat you. Uh, he took no chances, and there was a zero probability of you winning. Now, sometimes you would beat him, but you, oh, the only person who could really beat him was Mark Justice. And this is a guy like shaking the table, rolling the dice off. I mean, this is a guy that was doing all types of like, I still have no idea why the cards and lap would work today. It seems like something that is ridiculous, but it worked back then for Mark, Mike Long and Mark Justice. And it worked now. Hmm. Anyway, leave me a comment below. But I thought I would share this very uh, interesting history of Magic the Gathering. Bye, guys.